is an app right. that has the technology behind it that recognizes objects in the real world and automatically um, overlays it with interactive content, seamlessly fusing kind of the real and the virtual world. It does so by recognizing an image, that's all it needs. This is, for example, a artwork done for the um, Johnny English movie. So you need to use the camera of any of your device, iPhone, Android, iPad, point it on and it comes alive. This is something we've done with um, Panasonic. You see it seemingly integrates the interactive content. Right, so that's just to clarify, that's coming from this postcard down there. And what you did is um, those were partners. Yeah. They sent us an image, this image, so we want this to come alive. Yeah. So we put it on our server, and now at the moment you download um, a Rasma app for free. Right. Um, wherever you see this picture, you point it, you device on it, and it comes automatically to life. Right, so it, it links to a video. Exactly. It can link to a video. It can link to whatever content you want to. This is, for example, we okay. are um, sponsor of. So we're coming. So just a, a, we're coming from the T-shirt. We're coming into the, into this on the on the mm. iPad. Exactly. This is this spot in the Tottenham Hub Spurs. And what they do for their fans is, if you point this device on their T-shirt, yeah. it plays the highlights and the goals from the previous game. Right. Right. And does it work on any, any device? Or which devices does it, it work on? It works on iPhones, Androids and iPads. Okay. Yeah, well that's 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 quite a lot. It is. So yeah, and it's part it's part of autonomy. Is it's that right? part of autonomy. It's a start up um it's grown out of autonomy. We have a thousand commercial partners. So a thousand commercial partners including Panasonic, GQ, Virgin. John Lewis, Debenhams, uh, we're working with uh, Tesco's, we're working with Lucasade, we're working with Mazda, BMW, uh, Skoda, big up Skoda, BW, uh, um, lots and lots of different companies, Netforte, online companies, all kinds of companies. And uh, yes, yeah, it's growing really, really fast. The last thing I want to say is that we're completely free, so our technology is free for people to download. I encourage you all to download Rasma. Uh, later on today, and it's also free for our partners. So we don't we don't have a revenue model at the moment. We are in beta. We're in innovation stage. So it's a fantastic time to work with us. Partners can uh, in, in, integrate our technology into their own apps completely for free. So if you think there's an opportunity there for your you know your app um, to in, incorporate a visual browser in in the experience that you offer. I urge you all to come over to stand number 79, are we 79? 79, and uh, say hello, so we'd certainly like to hear from you. Uh, basically, we are trying to understand exactly what this technology means for the world, for people, for business. And we believe the best way to do that is to be free, because as soon as you have a pricing model, you decide who your customers are, and you decide how they use your product. Well, when you're free, people can you know, innovate freely. So um, whilst we are targeting media agencies, advertising networks, top brands, app developers, uh, we're also working extensively with the education sector, because it has huge implications for the way people teach, and museums, and areas that you know, most startups simply can't work with because they don't generate revenue, and they're not, they don't have that luxury, but as part of the we do have that luxury. And uh, I'd say that's one of the great things about working with these technologies that we are just seeing all kinds of uses that we would never have dreamt of uh, out there in the wild, which is great. Okay. Um, let's say I'm a developer, uh, a publisher. How long does it take for, for me to, to integrate the technology, your visual browser in my app? And are there any platform limitations, like uh, running especially on iOS, or is there any, any limitation on that stage? There are limitations. So uh, we run, we, we're currently available for Android and iOS. Uh, we can, you know, we have a, a sort of a processing power beneath which it's very difficult for us to deliver a fantastic experience. So we don't, we, you know, we, we basically, uh, it's, it's high-powered Android devices. 
it's iPhone 4, it's iPhone 4S, right. it's iPad 2. You need to have a camera, you need to have um, a certain level of processing power, so below that we can't function. Um, in terms of how people work with their SDK, um, it actually, we know it can be done very fast. <laughs> Some of our partners have managed to do it in a matter of hours, uh, you know, just embedding the full functionality, obviously design and wireframes you know, can take longer, but that's a, that's a separate issue. Um, some partners have, have you know, um, used third parties who maybe aren't quite so quick. But certainly, it's two lines of code. Uh, it can be done in a matter of hours. Uh, it really depends on the user journey that you want to put over the top of that. Any, um, any HTML5 on the roadmap? Um, not that we can talk about at the moment. So I could not use that in my, in my browser on my, in my laptop at this stage? No, that's, it's not something that we're, um, we're talking about then. Okay, very impressive, thank you. Any, any questions here? Yes, please. Just introduce yourself. Uh, Ali Azim uh, for Limited. Just want to ask a quick question. Um, you mentioned that you started in July, is that right? Yes, that's uh, right. So, um, can, you, can you talk a bit about the run up to the launch? And you know, you've, you've come a long way, there's a lot of great stuff there. So, how, how you managed that in such a short time? So, um, the tech, I mentioned a bit earlier actually, it's a good question. Uh, I mentioned earlier that. Um, it's on top of this core software combined with image recognition. So the core software bit, I mean, that's autonomous bread and butter. And they've been working on that since 1996. And the reason we kind of launched now is because devices are now powerful enough for us to put this technology on, on there. So it's really been a long time in the coming, and we were kind of ready to launch when the, when, when the, you know, the handsets were an appropriate platform. Um, but yeah, it's... Um, it's, um, it's been amazing, the, the response since we have launched, so, um, yeah. Hi, uh, David Walsh uh, from Bango. Um, I just wanted to know, um, how, I, I missed the first part of this, so how does uh, someone go to Tesco to know that you can scan something with your application? It's a brilliant question, and, um, you know, we're still working out what best practice is in this case, but, if we, Nick, if you grab a few bits and bobs, oh, how about Panasonic? That's a good one. Somewhere in this pile of uh, stuff. So what we have is, uh, we have something we call the Fat A, possibly not the best term, but uh, it is basically an icon that says, interesting content here. And uh, what we're seeing is partners who use that on their campaigns, to see better conversion rates because people know, they're starting to understand where the A is that there's content for them to discover. So actually you can see it there, but um, Nick's going to show it on the old uh, iPad. So this Panasonic campaign was phenomenal. Panasonic kicked off with an ad campaign and they saw incredible um, uh, engagement. So um, they had uh, click-through rates that were in double figures. And that's a technology that um, has only really just, you know, begun. Uh, people aren't fully aware of yet. Uh, just bear in mind that, you know, they see when they do Google AdWords, they see conversion of 0.03%. So they were impressed by that, and they said, "What else can we do? Why don't we do point of sale?" So immediately they turned out 50,000 postcards with the fat A on it, and again saw sort of astounding results. And, and now they're rolling this out across uh, big parts of their. Uh, product launches, so it's integrated into the Panasonic Fiera campaign, which is apparently the television of the Olympics. If you're thinking of buying a new television, uh, that is the television of the Olympics. And uh, all of their advertising carries the fat A, and that's certainly helping people uh, understand this content there. Um, but yes, yeah, so that's, that's, that's how we, we identify a content. Thank you. 